The gazelle wakes up knowing that it has to run faster than the fastest lion, else it is going to be eaten for breakfast or lunch or dinner. Now, the lion also wakes up knowing that it has to run faster than the fastest gazelle, else it will go to bed hungry. And here's the, the, the notion here, or the, 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 the lesson. He said, whether you are the lion in the African you know, region, or you are the gazelle, <laughs> everybody has to run. Everybody wakes up in the morning knowing they have to run. Many of us are not running. This is one year you have to run, but not run like a gazelle, run like a lion. The lion, no, there's no recession that will happen in this world that will make a lion go hungry. Come on, who, feel, who understand what I'm talking about? There's no recession. Can you tell the lion in the African jungle, dear lion, there's a recession in 2023. You will not eat this year. Can you say that to a lion? If all the animals in the jungle have to be dead, the lion will have his own share. So if this year is your year, you have to act like the lion. And what makes a lion a lion is the attitude. It's the attitude. It's a lifestyle. Lion does not eat dead meat. It's fresh kill. Come on. Fresh kill. The lion is the lion because of the attitude. The lion wakes up in the morning and says, I need a fresh meat today. I need a fresh kill today. I'm not going to eat last night meat. What is the moral of the story? You must hate the results you got last year. You must be hungry for 2023 and say, I must do way better this year. Right? This year, I'm hungry. This is a different year. And I'm going to kill it this year. That's the attitude you must have this new year. You don't have this attitude of, you know, well, we're going to see. We're going to see what happens, you know. No, I'm the liar. <laughs> I eat first. I kill first. I'm going to the new year. Can I, come on, I need some people to roar right now. Come on. Roar. Oh, I don't have lions here. Where are my lions? <laughs> right? It's your year. It doesn't matter who is losing. It doesn't matter who is failing. It doesn't matter who is struggling. Not you. Right? I'm, we have lions here. I'm going to get my own take this year. I'm getting my meat this year. Right? It's my year. And that's the attitude. The lion is the lion because of the attitude. It's not bigger, right? It's not even the strongest animal. But the lion, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, has a different attitude. It's about the attitude. And what's the attitude this year? Live the lifestyle of where you're going. Okay? Have the lifestyle of a wealthy person. Drop the lifestyle of poverty. Sometimes people are talking about, oh, somebody's poor. And then I hear people say that. We poor people, not me, right? I don't use such words. Even when I wasn't this wealthy, you can never hear something like that say, we poor people. How? I'm not one of them, right? You can, again, people will call you arrogant, but, Again, remember, niceness does not pay the bills. The people encouraging you to be poor, the day you are late on your bills and you ask them to help you, will they help you? Right? Will they? Many will even insult you and say, that's how you do all the time. You're always begging. Okay? So it's important that you build a new lifestyle. Who is ready for number, right? I think I'm number eight. Who is ready? Come on, if you're ready, type, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Number eight, if you're ready, type, I'm ready, I'm ready. Who is ready for me? 
Who is ready? Number eight. Okay, good. Have a low risk investment. Okay, come on. Have a low risk investment. Everybody type, have a low risk investment. One of the biggest mistakes I realize a lot of people make, they have all other types of investment except a low risk one. The whole of you know how to do crypto, you know how to do Forex, you know how to do all this risky, risky stuff you do all the time. <laughs> Well, you don't do a low risk investment. You say, oh, the returns is too low. I'm not interested. I want something that will give me, that will blow. <laughs> I want something big, something mega. And I think this is one of the biggest mistakes of people who are financially down. The little hard earned money, guess what they put everything into? All into a low risk, high risk investment. And I keep saying, don't do that. In fact, at the beginning of your investment journey, okay, break down your investments into three categories, low risk, mid risk, and high risk. And don't even do the mid and high until you get a mentor to guide you. But the low, you can easily start doing that. Treasury bills, right? Fortune 500 stocks. And if you're doing the stocks, do long-term. Look at what's going on right now, where, we, what's going on, technical team, right? Olua Tokpe has been waiting. The countdown is going on him buying, right? What's going on IT, I need, what's going on with the technical glitch on people being able to pay? I need an update, Farouk, are you there? Right? So Fortune 500 stocks, right? Um, again, do long term because even Fortune 500 stock is dropped. Tesla shares is dropped significantly, right? So I ultimately tell people, why not start with low risk investments? Things that whatever happen, you get your money. Okay, fix as fix. Uh, 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 um, what's it called now? Uh, what do you call it now? Fixed deposit, right? You could do a fixed deposit with some money. Right, they give you some 2%, uh, 5% rather, 4%, do something, right? Make sure you have some form of low risk investment that you're doing this year. How many of you would do that? If you do that type, I'm gonna do it. Have some low risk. It's not good returns, it's not high returns, but do it. Do it, guys, do it. You have to. Um, please, I don't want you guys to give anybody numbers. It doesn't take more than five minutes to fix that landing page. Can you just do it, right? Instead of just giving out numbers. It doesn't take more than five minutes. Well, it's, well, it's, but it's taking you a long time. Somebody needs to get a query in my team. So um, do a low risk investment. Are you ready for number nine? If you're ready for number nine, type, I'm ready, I'm ready. Come on. If you're ready for number nine, type, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Number nine. So let me give you an example of a low risk before I go on, when it comes to real estate. So real estate has three different categories because I know a lot of you are also here because you want to do real estate investment. Real estate has about three different categories. There is a low risk type of real estate investment. One of it is called real estate investment trust. Can everybody type it? Real estate investment trust. So there are certain kinds of real estate investment trust, okay, that are very low in terms of the risk level, okay? And they give you like guarantee return on investment. Grant Cardone does it. You can invest with Grant Cardone. Of course, it's a minimum of $250,000, you know, for accredited investors, right? You put in $250,000 every month, Grant Cardone gives you something as his tenants pay because they will use your, your money to buy more real estate, rent, you know, a cash producing real estate asset. And as Grant gets tenants to pay him rent, he gives you a part of that rent and you keep collecting that regularly. That's real estate investment trust. 
Stephen Akintayo does that as well through what we call GVES. GVES is a registered cooperative, licensed cooperative, right? Where people pull funds together and give it to GTEx homes. And GTEx homes invest in Dubai, invest in US, invest in UK, invest in Nigeria as well. And guess what? Every year, we'll cut you a check. You get something, right? Every year you get something. Now, that is some form of what? Low-risk investment. Now, hey, if you decide to do the investment yourself, your returns will be higher than what GTES is going to give you. But guess what? GTES is putting his or her reputation on the line. GTES is saying, hey, let me go do the business. I take all the risk. I'm guaranteeing I'm going to be giving you something on a regular basis, right? So what that does is it takes the risk off you and makes it almost at no risk for you. Are you learning, guys? Right? It makes it almost at no risk for you. So these are some of the wisest way, you know, rich people keep getting richer. Even at my level, this year, for example, I give it so that you understand that it's not just a thing that, oh, it's certain people that do it. Even at my level, we do it. As I speak to you, I have low risk investment. I have also invested in other people's businesses. Okay? Aside my own, I have done that because you want to do that. I give you a practical example. I know if you know an hotel called Four Seasons. I don't know if you know Four Seasons. If you know Four Seasons, uh, type I know Four Seasons. I know Four Seasons. Now, Four Seasons is owned by a man called uh, Al Walid. Al Walid is one of the Saudi prince. Okay? But guess what? One of the major, major owners of Four Seasons is who? Bill Gates. Okay? So, what's happening there, right? Bill Gates has allowed Al Walid, he knows who are his partners, they buy properties, they build this hotel, you know, they call it a five star hotel. Not luxurious. Now, Big A doesn't want to bother his head about running a hotel. He doesn't know how to run a hotel. He's always been a tech guy. You know, doesn't know anything about that. But you, Al Walid, you know all those things. You and Donald Trump, you know all this real estate stuff. Well, I'm going to give you your, my money. And as Four Seasons makes profit, you know, Al Walid is able to call Bill Gates a court. Are you learning, guys? These are secret of rich people. They don't just invest in their own business. They look for other people's business that is they can get some form of security in, and then they put in their money for some returns while they continue to also do their business. And this is the biggest mistake many of you are making. Many of you think the only business you invest in is your own. Foul. Big mistake. So what now happens is that you now see a lot of you having to run multiple business, you wear yourself out. Many of my colleagues in the real estate sector that we started together in Nigeria cannot even leave Nigeria for one week on holiday. Some cannot leave for one month because they didn't even build a structure around their business. They're almost dead. Everything is on them, right? And, and that's not how to build a business. You want to build your business that such a way that even you, at some point you retire from your own business and move on to another exciting business opportunity. But not just that, you also want to invest in other people's business and let them give you some returns. This year, for example, I'm starting a new company, which will become the major company I'm going to be spending most of my time in as I'll be handing over the CEO of my company this year to somebody to manage. I've tried 15 years, I've done a good job. So I'm setting up a venture capitalist company this year. And that's part of why we're giving grants, you know, we're giving, um, you know, on my bed, we're giving two entrepreneurs $5,000 each, and then we're going to do that all through this year. And I'm, I will later announce that it's a venture capitalist company, we're just going to be looking for great ideas, great young businesses, just start investing. Right? The goal is to invest in 10,000 businesses in the next five years. Okay? And the profit that comes from that will continue to run my foundation even years when I'm long dead. Okay? So, what is the lesson here? 
you successfully run a business, is doing well, be taking some portion of it, start putting into other businesses. That, but be sure you have mentorship around this. Be sure, I mean, there again, just get mentorship. Please, anything I'm teaching you, get somebody to help you. Don't do it alone. Don't be greedy. All this I can do it by myself. I don't need anybody's help. You know, come on. Wake up and be smart. Right? Everybody say, be smart. Come on, everybody type, be smart. Be smart. So in real estate, real estate investment trust is one of those things you can do. Now, how many of you have at least 10 million uh, um, naira to invest? Now, in dollars, I don't know if you have at least $50,000 because our real estate investment trust, we only do $50,000 if you want the dollar version. If you want the naira version, we only do 10 million naira. If you have up to that and you want to do real estate investment trust with my company, GTEx Homes, can you type me? You can send it just to the uh, panelist, just type me, if you have up to that. Right? You don't need to make it to everyone. Okay? Uh, for all of you who are asking, how do I get recording? I've mentioned that already. Go to the YouTube, Dr. S. Akita on YouTube is there. Uh, you will be able to watch it there. Just subscribe to the YouTube channel. Okay, so I have somebody here. Okay, for all of you who can afford that much, but here's what I will ask you to do today. Contact this number uh, and let the person know you're calling from me. Plus 23481, okay, 800-00618. Plus 234 818-00-00618. Right, let them know you're calling from me and you would like to invest with GVEST Cooperative, right? So you'll be able to learn how you can do fractional real estate investment and be entitled to returns on a regular basis. Now, number nine, are you ready for number nine? If you're ready, type I'm ready, I'm ready. Number nine, come on, everybody. If you're ready for number nine, type I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Come on, can I see my ready people? Okay, mid-risk investment. I mentioned that earlier, but I'm going to give you an example of mid-risk. Example of a mid-risk is called land banking. Everybody say land banking. So now there are several other sectors, right? But I'm focusing on my forte. I'm a real estate giant, right? So there are mid-risk in equity, in shares, in even in stocks. There are types of stocks that are high, there are types of stocks that are mid, there are types of stocks that are low. So in every sector, there's a low, mid, high. So you need to know this. But I'm giving an example of real estate because that's my field. Land banking is one of those mid-risk mid real estate because, and I'll tell you one of the major reasons why, whatever happens, you will hold your land if you bought it the right, if you buy it through the right credible people, right? Whatever happened, the land is there, it's touchable, it's feelable, you can hold it, you can touch it. Uh, and, and it's a smart move that I have used and has saved me, right? Here's a particular property. When I saw this property, I'll never forget it. And, and I've been proven right, because sometimes when you start some of these things, and, and this is why you need to arm yourself with a mentor and the right information so that when some of your friends who don't even have results begin to talk rubbish, you know that you are dealing with somebody who already has results in what they are teaching you. So look at this, right? This is me, 2019. I was, I just invested in this land. If you notice, Tick Bush, 2020, this is the same land. You can see third road building on it, first round already, right? A small office is there, security people are there. Now here what has happened. 2019, when I bought this property, it was barely $2,000 when I bought this property. Today, the same property is 
20 million naira, which is an excess of almost $50,000. If you put it in dollars, from 2,000 to $50,000. Three in three years, land banking. And in the next few months, the value even go way higher because I bought this property where the largest refinery in Africa is situated, where the largest seaport in Africa is situated, trade, uh, a free trade zone in Lagos is situated. Now, when I did, and this is very important because some people even bought this land from me and have collected a refund. They literally got some people to convince them that all those projects were bogus, they were not gonna happen, don't be deceived, and all manner. At the end of the day, many of them gave up and they lost. Today, it has paid off. So please don't lose your opportunity this year. Very important. Now, I think the code is working. Somebody just paid. So all of you can go back to, to the site. Uh, either you're doing, please can somebody let me type all the various URL link, the three. We have www.globalwealthfestival.com forward slash employee. We have the global www.globalwealthfestival.com forward slash entrepreneur. And then the third one is global www.globalwealthfestival.com forward slash grand assets. And the code to use is birthday. So everybody go try it now. Can you someone help me type the three URL so that people can go there and try it? It's working right now. So number nine is land banking. I built tremendous wealth through land banking. And I'm just about to get way, way richer because the refinery will be launched this coming week. Uh, no, up next week um, by the president of Nigeria. And that is just a game changer. Um, the free trade zone will be launched also in a couple of months. And that just means that every property I have in that access, I have a four estates in that access. Every property I have in that access is just about to go crazy and I have hundreds of acres. This is how you become rich, guys. Okay, this is how you become rich. Victor is saying, says, well, how can a beginner start? How a beginner starts is learning, right? You, you want to, and that's why I mentioned earlier, you want to get the information because I told you, some people even started this, but gave up because they didn't have the deep knowledge of how does real land banking work? What years do you need to give it? What's the process? Because if you don't have all the information, one day you just hear one rumor about Nigeria, and the next thing you are saying is, I'm giving back my money. I'm not sure it's going to work. And I've seen people do that. That's why I always say, start with the knowledge, start with the education, start with the mentorship, get the support, be equipped. Because when you have the information, you'll be relaxed. In time of, I mean, I know what people told me, the refinery project was delayed. So I got people coming saying, oh, man, that project will never take off. It's a bogus scheme. It's this. You guys are just deceiving people. I got all oh, man. But I understand what I'm doing. I understand the concept. It's a global concept when it comes to land banking. It didn't just start in Africa. So I'm deep-rooted. I've done courses. I've done programs. I'm so armed and I've been, I've done several other ones that work. So I know what I was doing, right? And this one has just worked as well. So if you're not well-educated, right? You're gonna panic at some point. That's why I always say, start with the knowledge. Don't even start with the investment. So if you start with the investment, now you're chicken out. Now you're gonna join, so I made a mistake. I trust somebody. And, and we love to play victim in Africa. We just love it. We call pity parties and, call everybody, guys, I've just failed. I just lost money. I think it's human being, not just Africans. <laughs> it's human being, I just lost money. And everybody will come and say, oh, sorry about that. They're all scams. They're all just trying to deceive you. Oh, I've always known these things are not real. Don't do that. Every investment has a risk. And we've all lost money. I've lost a lot of money. But there's no reason to give up. Not at all. I keep at it, and I keep at it. So. For those of you who want to also do land banking, call the same number, okay? Plus two, three, four. So reach out to him. Again, use the word land banking. Plus two, three, four, eight, one, eight, one, eight, zero, 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 
0618 plus 234-818-00-00618. Uh, reach out to him you, either on WhatsApp or by call, and he's going to help you in a great way. Last one, high risk. In the real estate sector, what type of investment is considered a high risk investment? Property flipping. Everybody say property flipping. Come on, everybody say property flipping. Now, property flipping is capital intensive and is a very high risk type of real estate investment. But guess what? It also gives the highest level of returns and at the shortest possible time. So in other words, you can literally get 100% of your money, depending on which economy you're operating in. You can literally get, a, 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 um, you know, 100% or 30% of your money in matter of weeks, five weeks, 10 weeks in real estate flipping anywhere in the UK, the US, in Dubai, anywhere, right? Uh, using property flipping. But it's very risky because you could go by the, the concept of property flipping is simple, right? It simply means that you buy, um, Olua is still having glitch. Farouk, the grand assets promo is what Olua wants. So I think the entrepreneur and the employee one has been fixed, but the grand assets one hasn't been fixed. Farouk, can you confirm whether the grand assets one has been fixed? So a property flipping, I'll give you a practical example. I had uh, one of my partners you know, bought this property um, in Lekki, and the property was going for, as at that time, for um, um, about, as at that time, was a million dollars, right? And he bought the property, got it fixed, was a good location, made it even look better. Uh, no, I, no, no, he didn't even do anything on this because it was also a new property. But the owner, yeah, that's true. The property was actually worth $2 million, but the owner had cancer and urgently needed money. Okay, urgently needed money. So, Ulua uh, Tope, check it now. Farouk say all has been fixed. And he urgently needed money for his cancer treatment. So, he needed to sell it and he needed ca cash. And the secret of property flipping is cash. You must have the bulk money and you must have it cash. You must be able to pay right away. So he was able to meet the person. Of course, they wanted to sell it higher, but he told them, hey, I have cash. I have a million dollar. Um, when I mean cash, I don't mean um, you are dealing with uh, raw cash. What we mean is liquid, right? In other words, you're ready to pay everything at once. So he was able to tell that I have a million dollars I can wire it right away. And of course, <laughs> The owner had to sell it, even though the value was $2 million. Now, 45 days later, he was able to sell that same property for $2 million to another buyer, and he made a whooping $1 million profit in 45 days. Everybody type $1 million in 45 days. Come on, everybody, type it. $1 million in 45 days. However, this partner of mine could have lost a lot as well. Let's assume he bought that property for a million dollars. Within that one million, uh, within that 45 days, uh, within a couple of weeks, inflation hit. We saw how inflation has affected the whole world in 2020. Within that same period, the property market crashed. Okay. He might even end up selling that property for less than a million dollars. So it's a very risky business, uh, but it also gives a very huge returns once you figure it out, once you have all the support, you have all the ingredients. Again, what is my advice? Who can guess? What's my advice before you do property flipping or any high risk investment? Who can guess what is my advice? Can anybody guess? Find a mentor. Thank you. In fact, before, because the mentor will give you the knowledge, right? Right. But just even start with a mentor. Uh, uh, not even the knowledge, because how do you guarantee that you have the right knowledge? How do you guarantee that all your... I, I've seen people literally go, uh, Oluwa Tokpe says it's not working from my end. So what you can do, Oluwa Tokpe, you can do a transfer. 
check the website. I'm sure it gives you a manual payment option if you want to use manual payment option. But you can click on the dollar option, the Stripe. There's the pay stack option. Um, and then the coupon code. What's the coupon code? Bed day, okay. So it's bed day VVIP. You're using the wrong coupon code. So for the employee, the word is bed day. I don't know why they made it complex, but I use the same code for all. While for the uh, entrepreneur uh, promo is bed day VIP. While for the grand access is bed day VVIP. So everybody, please, can you type that as well on Facebook, Farouk? We have a lot of people watching. So uh, my advice is get a mentor. Uh, um, that should be the starting point for all of you who want to go into this. Get a mentor first um, and get the opportunity to be able to have that support um, from such a mentor. And that way, I'll be open with the mentor. I've met people who, because they didn't have money, I remember somebody had very terrible coaching session with someone. So she paid for the coaching. So where to start? So I said, so what's your budget? How much can you afford to start real estate? And the lady just said, I can't tell you anything now. I had to like, what's, I don't understand. You paid me to, it's like, you've come to a doctor and you have an ailment somewhere in your body. And then you say, can you show me? And you say, no, I don't want to show you, dear doctor. Like, it's, a, it's very annoying. So don't join my coaching program, but my one-on-one -on -one coaching program. If you're not going to mention what's your budget, right? Because your budget determines what we can advise you to do. And then I say, you know, I don't want to disclose. Like, I don't get it. <laughs> okay. So, but when you get a mentor, and it's a right one. And the factor to getting a mentor is that he has results. He's successful in what he's teaching you. Never get a mentor who is not successful in what they are teaching you. It's a disaster, right? For me, the qualification for you to be my mentor, you must have more results in that area than I do. So now I want to learn from you. So for all of you asking again, the coaching programs, the training programs I have. So let me go again and recap it for you. Can you see my screen guys if you can see my screen type i can see your screen so here is what we have we have this three quick promo you can take advantage of this one has ended but i'm extending it for you to take advantage of it today um it's called the employee student and employee promo you get vip ticket to the global wealth festival taking place on my birthday you can watch from anywhere in the world uh virtual tickets to attend the event. You get one more access to Steve Acta University. You will get the recording of my various coaching programs, you know, running to thousands of dollars. So the, you also get three of my latest book, which each is going for $47 um, as well. Uh, um, and for just $47 instead of $1,015. You want to use the coupon code BETDAY. If you go to the site, you see globalwealthfestival.com is 1,000 you see there. But if you use the coupon code BETDAY to reduce it to $47 for you. Okay, the second one, if you can afford it, is the entrepreneur promo. Now here you have two VIP, two tickets to the virtual ticket to the Global Wealth Festival holding on my BETDAY. What's two for $7? Global um, access, one month access to Sinaita University was $247. Two hour coaching session with me, uh, with others as well. You get uh, $500 worth of the recording of the Global Web Festival in L Dallas, London, and Nigeria. You will get four of my books, okay, uh, powerful books, right? I mean, you know as well as access to the Billionaire Habits Masterclass and book as well for $97 instead of $1,457. So the code to use for this one is birthday VIP. Birthday VIP, so please add the VIP to it because they didn't add it to what they did. So birthday VIP is the code. This is again, globalwebfestival.com forward slash entrepreneur 
and then use the code birthday VIP, it will reduce it to $97. Uh, there's an option for transfer. There's an option for manual payment or using your dollar card or a narrow card. My favorite is the Grand Assets promo because this one has all the other ones the entrepreneur promo has, but more. It has 40 of my books. You get all my books that I've ever authored, 40 of them. You Not just that you get the audio version, you get the, the ones that have masterclass. You get that. In fact, this is what over three thousand dollars and you're getting it for just 197 dollars man it doesn't get better than that right and for me that's my favorite for you to get this visit www.globalwebfestival.com forward slash grand access again www.globalwebfestival.com forward slash grand access but the code to use to reduce the price from $3,000 to just $197 is v bed day VVIP. Bed day VVIP. That is the code to use. Now, oh, but Dr. Steven, I cannot even afford $47. How can you help me? Well, to help you, go to my YouTube page. Okay? That is what I can recommend. My uh, Dr. S. Akintayo on YouTube has so many resources for you. It's free. You can start there. So go subscribe to the channel. Every, this year, I have tons and tons of great content I'm going to be loading there. So go subscribe. It's free. It costs you nothing. Just go there. Subscribe to the channel every day. I currently have, as you can see, on that channel alone, has over two. 100 videos at the moment, over 200 videos. Go there, feed on these things, and you start growing by the day. Now, you have some little bit more money, okay? Why not go for the group coaching, about a group of between 10 to 30 people? So in this group coaching, you can subscribe for the real estate group coaching. You can subscribe for the forest group coaching or crypto group coaching or how to become an author, how to make money from writing books and being a public speaker. Now, this particular group coaching goes for between $5,000 to $10,000. A few of you in the group is really powerful. It's a three-month program. Um, the $10,000 one is six months program. So you can go sign up. The website for all this coaching is mentorme.stevenarchetile.com, mentorme dot steven .com. you see all the various coaching options there we also have the one-on-one -on -one coaching so the one-on-one -on -one coaching has a one hour session for a thousand dollars it has a one day session for five thousand dollars if you're even in dubai you can come to my apartment or Burj khalifa for either breakfast or lunch or dinner and we'll have a session one-on-one -on -one together um, we also have the one-on-one -on -one that goes for six months for 15000 and then the one-on-one -on -one that goes for one year for $20,000. So you can do any of this or just come to YouTube and enjoy. Start from there. There's also a Facebook community you can join. There's a Telegram community for free. You can start at what, what I've done is at whatever level you are, I'm here to support you. Who is excited? Come on, if you're excited, type I'm excited. Are you excited about this? Are you looking at me? I'm not very excited about these opportunities. Okay, if you're excited, type I'm excited. Okay, but my advice starts somewhere. Okay, and stop expecting things to be free. You will not make money until you're willing to pay, okay, for what you're trying to receive. One of the biggest reason people are poor is they want to make money without spending money. They want to be rich without investing. It doesn't work that way, okay? You can't be rich without paying something. Anything of value comes with a price. And whenever you're trying to get something of value without paying anything for it, you are about to lose, okay? 
you're about to lose, absolutely about to lose. And I've seen this happen over and over and over again. I've seen people lose so much. And what led to it was that they wanted to get something of value, but they don't want to pay anything. They just wish it can always be free. I just believe I always get it for free. Can't you make it free? Some people even talk as if somebody owe them, but nobody owes you. You owe yourself everything. You want success in life, then you must be willing to pay for it. You must be willing to pay for the value you want. So uh, can I bring up Deborah to share with us about the Stephen R. King Tyre um, grants that we have and some of the mistakes people are making and how people can apply. Do I have Deborah here or who is in the, who is part of the grant team that is here? Can admin please pull the person up? Right, so they can go. So I'm done. Did you get value today, guys? You got value, tap, I got value. I'm going to take a few questions and then I'll bring Deborah up or anybody in the team. They are going to uh, break down for you guys some of the uh, um, uh, um, how to apply for this Tyra grant. It's a $5,000 per entrepreneur. And we're going to be doing for 1,000 entrepreneurs in the next five years. Um, so if the team is here, let's have. So who is, who has questions? If you have questions, just click on the question button. Uh, go to the question button and you can type your question. Victor, thank you for time, thanking me. I, now you, Simon, thank you, I appreciate it. You understand how to draw virtue. Very important when you learn from someone like this, it was you were supposed to pay, you got it for free. The first word should be thank you. A lot of us don't even have that culture. Remember, we've talked about lifestyle. I realize that like rich people are full of honor. Um, you know, they are very courteous amongst themselves. I, again, I'm not talking about how they treat their staff or people that are beneath them. Uh but a lot of, and I've seen a lot of rich, rich people that even treat those who work for them very well. But I can tell you categorically one of the strengths, secrets of rich people, they know how to make people feel good. They know how to appreciate things done for them because people don't even do it. Everybody always expects that they will get things for free. Abby Bo says, can I sign up for the class after this lecture? Yes, you can but the offer is about to close, so it can end at any time. So I advise you do it immediately. At least you do it today. Uh, Success Diary says, uh, will you advise investing in Korodu for land banking? What do you mean by that? I have a massive estate in Korodu. In the same location, Fort Mellon Bridge is coming. Um, and I encourage as many of you who are smart to invest in this estate. I, the price has gone up to 10 million. So we have just 20 slots for people to be able to buy that particular estate at, at uh, 5 million instead of 10 million. So absolutely, but it's who you are buying from. You know, don't go and say Dr. Steven asked me to buy Korotu. Many of you, again, Pennywise, Power Foolish, you think you can buy cheaper, you go buy from Omonile, right? Uh, these people don't have integrity, right? Um, even this estate, I bought it inside another estate because I, I was scared of what was going to happen. So I looked for somebody who had over a thousand acres and I bought hundreds of acres from the person. Of course, I paid more compared to if I were to have bought it directly from the family, but I secured the, the estate and I'm happy I did because the family eventually started court cases, did all manner, but we won because I wasn't even the one. I didn't go to court once. Because guess what? I had a bigger estate that I just bought out of his own. So he fought all the battles <laughs> and then I enjoyed the sport. But if I was greedy to have felt that, oh no, you know, uh, I don't want to pay a higher amount. This person was charging me a lot. Uh, you know, let me just go and buy from the family direct. 
Well, all that money will have been will have been down the drain by now. All the money, I'll have lost everything if I had done that. So my advice to you, try to look for a credible person to buy from, okay? And, okay, you ask, so who is the credible person? I recommend myself. <laughs> Any other credible person, go do your research yourself and be sure the person is credible because... I'm not going to go into that. Uh, I've had situations I recommended people. When things go bad, people say, but Dr. Zivi, you are the one that I saw the person on your page. You said we should do business with the person. So now I only recommend myself, right? Uh, if you go and pick somebody else, at least if it goes bad, you know that you were the one that picked that person, <laughs> okay? But... If it's, but either way, I mean, why wouldn't I recommend myself? Because I have a good product. So we have, this is the estate I'm talking about. It's going to have residential, it's going to have water city, water parks. It's going to be a beautiful estate. Um, the new price is now 10 million, effective from next week, Sunday. Uh, but we have 20 plots uh, for 5 million in the same place, Fort Milan Bridge will be passing in front of this estate. So here's an opportunity to pay just 5 million instead of 10 million that is starting from next week Sunday. So call the office or call the number I gave you guys. So I gave you a number you can reach out to for all of you who want to invest in real estate. Um, plus 234-8180000. Six one eight. His name is Joshua. Just tell him that the Stevens has to reach out to you. I want the Kodu property, or I want any of your other properties. We have more than twenty estates, so pick which one you want. Uh, Daniel says, "I wish I could get the, the fix first six points you mentioned earlier. Go watch it on 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 YouTube, my friend. It's here, right? See, go watch it here." Dr. S. Akintaya, don't be lazy when it comes to information. I've taken the stress, I've done the video. It costs you nothing to go and watch the video again. Nothing. Come on, don't be lazy. Go watch the video again. Is it better to pay to get mentorship even when you don't have bigger capital to start up? Absolutely. Because from the mentorship, you will learn how to raise capital, right? Um, and, and, I, and I've shared this a million times. From the mentorship, you raise the capital. I, I know how many of my mentees that I was able to break down how to raise capital. And they were great, right? Because the money you currently have cannot even, so cannot start the business. To start with. So it's foolish not to go for the information. And this is why many people don't get mentorship, right? There's this mindset of the money I have is not even enough for the business. Now I want to go and dash somebody to learn. Hmm. The trade secret of any business is the knowledge. It's not the product. Everybody's selling real estate. Everybody sells land, but they are not selling like Stephen Akintaro because the director has a trade secret that is 1,700 years old. If I show you my course material, right? It will go give you history of land banking since the 1700s. So these are not something we just started. They don't have such. They may have more land, they may have, but the value, the land is not appreciating like mine, okay? Uh, so it's the knowledge. The real business is the knowledge. It's not capital, it's not product. It's the trade secret. That's the real business. Um, so the next question, Simeon, it says, please, sir, what will you consider the minimum budget to go into land banking? Simeon, I've told you, there's no minimum budget or highest budget. State your budget. That's all, right? When you're dealing with me, sir, this is how much I have. I will show you the options we have. The mistake people make, they think that, and I've seen people do that, and I just laugh. They think that if they tell you their budget, Maybe you now increase the value of the estates beyond the way some of us think. And it speaks to 
the caliber of people we deal with. Because when you step up your game, you know that in the world of real entrepreneurs, nobody raises price because you told them their budget. The budget just helped them to know which of the product to recommend to you. Abdul Latif Busari says, sir, please, I'm grateful for today's privilege to participate in today's masterclass, but I only got a chance through the promo code. Don't have the capacity to pay for mentorship. Please, is there any other way of serving you? No other way. Go to YouTube. Start from there. Anonymous says, thank you so much. I'll consider my New Year gift. I'd like to ask, as recent graduate entrepreneur with low income of 100K, what kind of investment should I do? You can invest 100K, right? Invest in the knowledge. I've taught you this, and I'm shocked some of you are still asking these questions. Invest in the knowledge. When you have the knowledge, you now know that, oh, I can even make money as a broker matchmaking those who have the money and the, those who have the product. And I get a 5% or a 10%. And I gradually use that to build my capital. That's how I started. I wasn't born rich. So when I got the knowledge of real estate, the first thing I did was to be a middleman. But I got the knowledge first because without the knowledge, there's no person who has money who would buy through me. But when they saw that I was very knowledgeable, I was so knowledgeable that when I started my own estate, People were investing with me. They knew I knew what I was doing, right? They knew it wasn't going to crash. Uh, but many of you think capital is what you need. But capital does not help social capital. Capital cash is not equal to social capital. Social capital will even give you what cash can give you. Trust, right? Trust. So what... Knowledge does, it places you in a place where you can attract social capital, where people say, I know this person knows this business. I'm going to risk I'm giving my money because I know he knows what he's doing. I've seen him serve somebody else for years. He's been faithful. He's going to do a, run a good business. It's a privilege to be one of the early investors in his business. That's how I grew my business. People trust him. People I've never met. People invest millions of dollars with me, sometimes it's the day they've come to collect keys to their house here in Dubai that I'm meeting them. Some have still not met till today. And they invested millions of dollars because they, when they listen to me, they know this person knows what he's doing, right? He's too intelligent, right, to scam me. Stephanie Morgalu says, thank you for the session. Please, can we know all your estates and site so we can know which one to invest. Absolutely, Stephanie, because time is gone. That's why I'm not taking time to show all my estates. So I've given you the number. Contact that number, plus 234-818-0000618. He will show you all our options, but tell him your budget and he'll show you all the options. Tell him whether you want Dubai, whether you want Nigeria, whether you want US or UK, but state your budget so he knows which one is helping you with. Um, Osa, Osa Sere Ostifo, thank you so much. I've learned so much. How much I'm interested, the land size. Ostifo, call Joshua. He will help you with the Ikorodu property or Ibejileki property or Abuja property or Asaba or anywhere else. Can your land be bought in installment? Yes, it can, but <laughs> the major bulk of the money has to be dropped. Uh, Angala Efianga says, thank you so much for this masterclass. I like to get into property, low risk, as I do not have uh, the capital, the moment I have small business selling and uh, antique jewelries. Does your mentorship program cover all types of business? Well, if I have started my business with $10 and I've grown it to hundreds of millions of dollars in real estate assets, right? You should know that the same principle that can sell expensive products, right? We sell cheaper products better. It's just common sense. So my mentorship is for anything you want. Um, you know, as far as it's about business, it's about entrepreneurship, it's about investment. I take my time and give you my best of advice. Um, 
are you willing to host any protege in your Dubai space apart from your birthday time? Uh, you must be top notch investor to visit. Yes, I'm willing to host if you have joined my coaching program. Absolutely. I will gladly give you time. If not, my staff are there in Dubai to attend to you. No problem. But of course, if I'm in, in town, you won't say hello and I'm in the office, I will gladly say hello. We'll take pictures. But you won't start a coaching class without payment. <laughs> uh, I about me. Thank you for the session. I always get value. Do you have the information about the land and property on the website? Come on, are you about me? I just told you, visit the website. I mean, call 234-818-000618. I rest my case. The wonderful touch is here to give us updates about the Stephen Akintayo um you know grants for entrepreneurs please go ahead to you good evening sir good evening everyone thank you so much sir for the amazing session it was really mind-blowing okay so i'll go straight to the point we'll recap um, when, when you are done with the uh update on the stomach university you can do a recap as well um on all with um how they can sign up for the various coaching as well. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, so the Stephen Akintyre Foundation is, uh, is an, is an um, NGO, the charity arm of GTEx holders. And currently we are give grants in all sectors. Okay, for the agriculture last week, we have the health sector, the um, energy sector, and as time goes on, we're going to review all. So we sell with the agriculture sector last week. And for you to um, win this grant, it's not, it's not okay. So we have, an, I, we have a goal to give $5 million within five years, this year to 2027, to over 500 entrepreneurs, but entrepreneurs whose businesses are technology driven and the United Nations SDG goal driven. And when you apply, okay, you will be required to take an investment for this test. You will be required to submit business, required to make a business plan and take some other questions. Okay, your business has to be registered and all that. So if you're into the health sector or the energy sector or any other sector as we're going to unveil sooner, right? Ensure your business is registered, right? And we are going to shortlist the top 50 people. Okay, for the agricultural grants, we had over 1, 000, um, 1, 140 applicants, right? And out of these 1,140 applicants, just 529 people passed the investment readiness test. Now, why are we taking this test? We want to be sure that your business is investment ready, right? That investors can invest in your business. We want to be sure that you are yielding profits in your business, okay? And then out of these 529, just 411 people had their business registered. Okay, now this is an opportunity Dr. Steven is giving out to help young businesses scale. Okay, with the top 50 that we got from agriculture grants, just hold on when I'm done, I'm going to attend to all questions, right? So the top 50 are. Are going to gain a one month access to Steve McIntyre, then are going to have a pitch before judges. So we're going to bring this in the agricultural sector and they are going to pitch their business before these judges. And then the judges will select the winner, right? So it's not in our hands to select the winner, but in the hands of the judges, okay? So if you are among the top 10, I would advise you to prepare your pitch, 
make another video, right, stating why you want to win this grant and what you will do with the money. Okay, it's five thousand dollars. It's a lot of money, right? So you have to be prepared. Okay, and then there'll be just one winner. So subsequently, from next month February, we'll have the health sector grant come up, and then it goes on like that till we finish the twelve sectors. Okay, so you're saying how long does the five million investment deal last? Okay, it's it's a grant. Like I said, the five million is for five years. That will be given to 530, 553 um, entrepreneurs. But one person would win the grant each year. Sorry, 24 persons will win the grant each year. So every month, while giving one, one person, every month, one person, every month, one person, $5,000, okay? Do we have another question? Okay, for the land in Ikorodu, Victoria, contact the number that was dropped earlier. Okay, I'm going to send the number again. Contact, contact Joshua on this number and he'll give you all the details. And yes, five million era goes. Okay, so I want to believe we understand the Stephen Akintyre Foundation grants. You need an investment in Poland, please contact the number. Okay, contact the number, please. Yeah, I think your breakdown is quite wrong. We are giving two huh. people per month, right? There's two people winning $5,000 per month right making 24 for this year next year is four persons per month making 48 the year after is 120 right like that and the total is 1000 not five not five something is 1000 in total in five years that will be winning it so we even did the breakdown here oh. you know in this fly okay I, I wish Ebora is here. So 2023, 24 recipient, that's two per month. 2024, 48 recipient, four per month. 2025, 120 recipient. Okay, that is 10 per month. 26, 250 recipient, that's 20 per month, I, I think. And then 2027 will be the highest, which is 558, making a total of a thousand recipient in five years, winning $5,000 each, right? So to apply, I thought you would share your screen to go to the website, show them um, how they could apply on the website. Please do that. Okay, so let me share my screen now. Okay, so the website is www.stevenakintyrefoundation.org.
So she the site is not loading. What's it, what's going on? My network connection is poor, so the host is going to share from his screen. All right, so stop sharing. Let me share now. Yes. You can go ahead, Ezekiel. I shared it. Okay, so you have to keep scrolling. Okay, no, no, no. I'm go up a little. You see this blue button? Okay, so this is where you have to apply. Click on the link to apply. Okay, so to register, you have to fill in these details. You have to fill in your first name, your last name, your email address, your phone number, your Facebook handle, that's your business um, page. Then this is the name of your business. And you have to fill in then you, your accent. The accent is your business registered under the applicable laws of the country. That's yes. Okay, you have to say yes or no. And then you have to select the, the grant you're applying for. Right, so these are all the grants we're giving throughout these five years. Okay, so I think, can you just enter some details so that they can see the progression? Okay. Okay, so click to continue. So you're going to be asked, what is the nature of your business? Okay, let's, let's proceed. You can say consulting, anything. Consulting, you can put consulting on health. What industry is your business? So that's education. Is there education? Okay. So you're going to pick what is applicable to your business. Is your business registered? That's CSE. Do you have CS registration? Take it that yes or no. Then you have to select the grant you're applying for. So you're being asked, are you the founder of the business? So if you are the founder, you say yes. If not, you indicate no. And then we know some, some businesses have partnership um, models. So Maybe you have one or two founders and then you indicate how many founders you have, two, three, four, or just one, you indicate. What country is your company headquartered? You put a country because this grant is not only applicable to Nigerians, right? It's Af um, Nigeria and Sub-Saharan Africa. So we have applications from different parts of Africa. And then your start dates when you founded your business or when you started your business. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Okay, so what stage is your business? How many years have you been in operation? The tickets are applicable to you. Has your business received any funding to date? Have you gotten any grant from any other organization since inception till now? Yes or no? All right. In US dollars, how much has your business received in terms of grants? Right. You indicate if you've not received any one, you indicate as well. Okay, so you're being asked, where did the funding come from? There are different organizations that give out grants, so you have to indicate where you got your grant from. And if you've not said, say no as well. Okay, so how much do you intend raising? How do you intend raising more funds for your business? Okay, what are the plans you have? I want to know how do you want to raise funds for your business? Okay, do you want to take loans? Do you want to get more grants or you want to get investors? Indicate, let's know. Have you generated revenue yet? Yes or no, okay. All right, so if you have generated revenue, how much in US dollars have you generated in your business? You indicate if no, you can put no, okay? And then what achievements or milestones have you hit in your business? So how many, how many deals have you closed? How many, you know, what, what have you achieved in your business since you started? We would like to know, so that's what this question is asking. If you haven't achieved anything, if your business is still starting, you can indicate as well. Okay, so who are your main competitors in your, in your field? You should know those who are your competitors, right? And would like you to state them. So you're into consulting, right? So who are your competitors in consulting? We have different consulting firms. You state them. Okay. Okay. So what are your key advantages over your competitors, right? Okay, what are your key advantages over the competition? What's your unique selling point? What's making you different from your competitors? Would like to know. Okay. So excluding founders, how many people do you have on your team? How many workers do you have, right? If you're the only person you indicate just one or just you. So it's important that when answering these questions, we'd like you to be as honest as possible, okay? And then what makes your team special? would like to know what, what makes your team special. Do you have a young workforce? Do you employ only women? Do you have a team of just women or you have a team of just men? What, what's the unique points, the unique thing in your business? Okay. Energy, okay. Okay, next question. Does your team still own 100% of the business? Okay. Or are you the one 
owning 100%. Okay, so where do you see your business in five years? What's your goal? What's your vision? What's the projection in five years? Would like to know. Okay, now tell us about other ideas, your theme. Right, it's currently so working on, so probably you have so would like to know what idea progress. Is that all? Hello, Ezekiel, are you there? Is that all? Yes, yes, yes. This is the last one. This provides the last support. one. Okay. Okay, then we'd like you to provide supporting documents, which can be your business plan. Okay. Your business idea, your business, your BS, okay, or financial projections. You can just attach any image. I just want them to see the, prog the progression and not have any. Um, glitch when filling out a form okay okay so here you're to make a a minute video pitch most persons did not get this part okay pitch your vid pitch your pitch your business as though you're pitching to investors don't just um make it casual right be prepared okay Pitch your business like you are pitching to investors. It's five thousand dollars. It's not five thousand naira. So it's a lot of money that requires your preparation. Okay, just one minute. Summarize your your business, your goals, your vision, your your mission. Summarize it in one minute and let it be presentable, please. I don't know if I can come in here, Ms. Toshi. Okay, okay. All right. Um, the area where most applicants had issues um, were in the areas of following instructions. Okay. Uh, when pitching a video, you have to make sure that particular video is not too large. As you can see That's here, we sense. have capacity, the size limits. It's saying here that the size limit should be 10 MB. Should be 10 MB. Some of us, what we do most of the time is that we do a one minute pitch video that uh, exceeds this particular uh, uh, limit. Some did one gigabyte, some did 100 megabytes, whereas the instruction says 10. And B. So please let's take this into account. Let's put it into account when making our one minute pitch video. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Please take notes. 10 MB. Okay, so I would like to know how how did you hear about us through Facebook, through a friend, through um, radio, television? Would like to know word of mouth as well, and then submit. Okay, so this is the investment readiness test right and you need to answer these questions it's not showing completely okay okay all right so it says please provide information on the level of on the level of investment readiness for your company or project so activity your business plan do you have it 
Do you have a site or have you acquired a land? What's the feasibility of your projects? What's the financial model? Do you have license? Do you have permits? Do you have agreement? Do you have a detailed project design? Okay. Have you carried out an environmental and social impact assessment on your business? These things will help you. You help your chances, right, of scaling through the first stage. Okay, so submit, let's see. You can see towards the down part here, yeah? it's saying the form was sent. The form was sent successfully. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I believe we've seen how to go about the application, right? So when the next grant is open, we will not have issues applying for the grant. And please, 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 if you have, if you have um, questions, don't um, fail to reach out to us, right? reach out to us and let's help you through the application. We are committed to helping you and we want to see as many people as possible birth their business ideas and scale through in their business. All right, so for the offers Dr. Steven gave earlier, all right, we have the employee promo end night. Okay, you can still gain access to it, okay? for just $47. We have the entrepreneur problem starting next week and it's going for $97, right? Use the, uh, the coupon code BEDDAYVIP to get the discount. And then the grant access, right? Where you get all amazing benefits. You get a fiscal VIP ticket to attend the um, Global World Festival in Dubai. If you're not in Dubai, you get a virtual ticket to attend it. You get all the savings books, including the, the, the soon to be launched. We're launching three books on 28 Billionaire Habits for Pastors, Billionaire Habits for Entrepreneurs, and Billionaire Land Banker. You're getting all the books. Okay, you said the code is not working. It could be your network. Try again. Okay. And you're getting the recording of last year's Global World Festival in Dallas and London and in Lagos. It's a whole package, right? Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Let me drop the link here again for you if you're just joining, right? So this first one is the one ending to This one is for seven dollars, right? And they have the entrepreneur. Does the code work for someone in Dubai? Yes, 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 it works. It works for someone in Dubai, right? Okay, so these are the links, right? Click on it. And as soon as you register, as soon as you make your payment, you have access to all the benefits. And for further inquiries, for further inquiries, reach out to any of these, like send a WhatsApp message and you will be attended to any of these numbers, okay? okay so thank you so much for joining i believe you gained value i believe you learned a lot and i believe you have taken notes okay start working on all dr Stephen has said today work on your personal finances work on your goals, work on everything you want to work on. The year is still young, and I promise you that if you can implement all that you want here today, you're going to achieve 
all you have set your heart to do at the end of the year. Thank you so much for joining. See, we meet again. I remain Tochi Sunny.